Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Man 6 Trudo Hampa. We're going to take on the Enigma, the Legend, the Nightman. And immediately we can make our path very easy. Not very rewarding, but eh, it's a couple of enemies out of the way. And I can just break out the power of fire and flame. Oh, there's a uh, after image there. Spike ceiling is not as dangerous as it looks. But then again, that goes for a lot in this game. Oof. We got Air Raid! Plant barrier stop those? Yes, it does. Too bad there are no more, because I just wasted a seventh of my uh, plant barrier ammo. Oh, well. Nope, now we've got more death from above. Death from above, that's not even worth <laughs> bothering with. I mean, granted, the game is working with an enemy set that is not the most threatening in the world. This, however, it does have a little bit of threat to it. As I so readily demonstrated. Am I gonna game over in this supremely easy game and a hack that is not really that difficult? I probably am. Although granted, one of my deaths is due to a glitch. I maintain that it is a glitch. Oh, man. I'm trying to modulate my flight so that I don't go sinking right into the bouncers, but I don't seem to be doing a very good job of it. Whoa. My jump did not... Oh. My jump is not jumping! Very clear, you can very clearly tell I'm trying to jump. And it knows the B button is being pressed because the jet is activating, but the jump itself is not happening. Take issues with this. All right. Some measure of success there. I guess a long jump was what I needed, not a uh, jet flight. And then I can just go bouncing around in here. I wonder if I missed something that block down there. But it all leads to the same gate. So I'm thinking that the uh, non-beat area gates were just taken out. Interesting decision. I'm not opposed to it. 
It's just interesting. All right, Nightman. You have it in you. No, I'm gonna have about 10 charge shots in you before this is done, so. I suppose we shall see. Ow. I'm giving you pity hits, I hope you realize that. Okay, well, I should not have died as much as I did in that stage, because that wasn't really a difficult thing to do. But, can't change it now. Let's just move on! Watch Mega Man descend into the ground there. Let's go to Yamato Man! I think a Spearman would be more mobile than that. A mobile of 31 seems pretty pitiful to me. You need to get on Centaur Man's level. You need a mobile that's over 200! I'm not sure how, because he can't jump at all. Yamato Man can. I would think that being able to jump is part of being mobile. Or maybe that's just the, how much their mobile homes cost? I don't know. Who can possibly tell? Okay, you're annoying me. Say cheese! back some of those extra lives that I've lost. Oh, no way forward. Only down. Down, descending into the depths. And cooking up some calamari. And fighting fire with fire, and I am really, really, really finding the, the jump button unresponsive. Has me worried, not gonna lie. the rebellion here. And really, that stage felt super short. <laughs> like, super short. I guess the universe is making up for how much time I spent on Nightman stage. jump this time. That... It's always after the single one, the single move in a row, that I never know what to do. And it hardly matters, because I was like... I take like one or two hits per boss because they're not difficult, except for Tomahawk Man. And Flame Man, kind of. 
Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.